Hey gang, I'm Chip Bricker with Smart Productions, also the piano player for country music legend Gene Watson. And uh, today, I want to talk about some different piano styles and some different things that we might like to do, starting with the basics of a legend in piano named Hargis Robbins. Pig Robbins is what a lot of people know him as. And uh, I had a chance to, to, to sit with him briefly uh, when I first went to work with Gene and get a few insights. <music> I think everybody's familiar with Mary Had a Little Lamb. Okay, basic melody, basic song. Something that Pig might do to it is, or a lot of people would, would come up and say, well, let's put a harmony to that. Okay, just a basic third harmony on top. What Pig would do is would take that harmony, and he would place it on the bottom of the chord, like like down here. Uh, instead of up here, he would place it down here, and so the uh, incurring sound would go. But then he would create a roll that would start in it, and it could kind of be something like... So you can see now how, how Pig would, would make something move using the harmony on the lower octave other than on top of the melody. And then he would also add the, the I would call them accidental notes in there. He would also put the chromatic tones, the... To do that, if you, can, you guys can see that. Same thing going back up. And it would create a really cool flow, like. Sort of a grace note type effect. But it created something really, really cool. <clears throat> you could also take a, an old Ray Price song, uh, Make the World Go Away, a style which we play with, with Gene. Uh, and uh, you, could, you know, like. Uh, make the world go away, but you could also do it in pig style. And I'm raising my finger here so you can see around what I'm doing. And that's just one idea to create sort of the pig sound. Another thing with the pig style is the rhythm. That Pig played, not just in the slow ballads like that, but what he created with rhythm. And, you know, you can hear it on things like Gene Watson's 14 Carat Mine. <laughs> and one thing that he did is he put the melody in the left hand and he had the rhythm in the right hand which is kind of backwards from the way most piano players think. I had to learn to think that way when I went to work with Gene. One of the things that, uh, that we do is, uh, like on Got No Reason Now for Going Home, uh, one of the rhythm things with the intro is classic pig style. And uh, so the... And then the piano comes in on the intro and does... slow that down because it's a different thing. And if you look, the left hand is just... You're thinking, well, that's simple. Yeah, you're right. It's what happens in the right hand that's actually much harder. Because you're having to create the chords that go along with it. And then there's, <clears throat> we move from that into the rolling rhythm. The rolling rhythm 
that pig created would be like. You say, well, what are you doing with your left hand? I'm mimicking the bass player. <clears throat> and people say, oh, no, never step on the bass player. Creates a huge, huge, wonderful big sound if you and the bass player are playing the same thing with your left hand and he's playing the same thing very precisely on the bass. That's where practice comes in. See the equipment our pros use at the best prices anywhere online. Support small business and save.